21-year-old Heath Cordes, ladies and gentlemen. I just got off tour this weekend with Tony. Yeah, it was fun. Could have been better. <laughs> Told me we were going to Disney World, but it's fine. <laughs> Took me on a private plane, too, and... Uh, I think I prefer Delta. <laughs> the jet was nice, but I would have liked Coach more than flying in Tony's carry-on. <laughs> when we got to our hotel, it didn't take more than 30 minutes until some creep was hitting on me with a belt while he squeezed my nutsack until I said uncle. <laughs> it was my idea, actually. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Wow, exactly one minute. Bing, bing, boom. Heath Cordes. Talking about this weekend, here on a Monday. Best Talk weekend of my life, Tony. You're the man. Fuck yeah. Heath was a very last-minute uh, addition to the show. I think I found out on Wednesday that William, uh, who had an operation on his um, skin, skin cancer uh, last week, had a little bit of a problem, had to go back under the knife, wasn't able to make the weekend. And I tried to figure out who would be a great, perfect replacement for him. And uh, I figured, why not give the new guy a short set to get things started? And yeah. Heath absolutely took the ball and fucking ran with it. Um, three sold-out theaters, two in San Diego, one in the round in Phoenix, Arizona. Constant improvement each show, more comfortable, more relaxed. And uh, he's a fucking grower, believe it or not. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Yeah, growing is also when you get better at okay. something, not just fatter or uh, oh, I, I taller or anything cock. like I'm that. Um, <laughs> Red Band's like, what? What's growing? <laughs> um, yeah, fucking amazing adjustments were made. Moved the closer to the opener. Uh, took his time. You know, it was actually incredible to watch. It's fun to bring uh, people with you that, uh, that listen and can fucking make the adjustments and you get to watch them have that kind of fun. First show to third show, tell the people what I'm talking about. Can you kind of explain in your own words? Yeah, um, it started off pretty strong every single time, but those first two shows, it always ended weak. And by the third one, it was all the way up, baby. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Didn't you give him some advice, though? And he yeah. took the advice and went yeah. with it? That's yeah. it. Yeah. The advice went well. Yeah. Tony gets it. Yep. And what else? What were some other highlights of the trip for you? Uh, he taught me how to make a girl squirt That's on the right. plane. What? That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Papa Tony out yeah. here doing the fucking Lord's work. That's right. The, the ladies are clapping. That's right. <laughs> Would you like to show everybody yeah. what I did? <laughs> 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 and then you speed it up. Yeah. You're gonna have to go faster than that, son. <laughs> Still working on it. The general technique was right, but oh, we got some squirt music going here. Hey, there you go. There you go. That's right. The old tickle me Elmo. Yeah. Sesame squirt, everybody. How adorable. This is the yeah. most, <laughs> this is the cutest episode of Blue's Clues I've ever seen. <laughs> How do we make someone squirt? <laughs> wow, that, that is hilarious. That could be your new uh, gang sign or something like that. Oh, the yeah. fucking, what's up? Yeah. Heath Cordes, represent. That's right. Raise the roof. The yeah. old top of the morning to you. Yeah. The old fucking... All right. Um, 
What else? What else stood out to you this weekend, Heath? Um, big ass grown up fucking gigs. Yeah, I got to sleep in a king size bed. That was cool. I didn't need any of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. You were you were in king size rooms, uh, really nice hotels. Did you do anything weird in the hotels? Um, nothing particularly weird, but uh, I did the normal and I whacked off. But hell yeah. <laughs> I picture you doing like some Home Alone 2 style shit where you <laughs> throw on the robe and some fucking slippers, start ordering too much ice cream at the end of the night. I don't know why I pictured you fucking misbehaving out there, but. I'm a good Rob boy, Snyder Tony, you there. know that. Trump made a cameo for <laughs> yeah. some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I, Tell me you used the big bath towel just as a fuck you to the staff. No, I never did. I didn't even think about it. I did. uh, I dipped into like the the candies and stuff. I got all the candy. Oh, where was their candy at? Oh, in the thing. In the hotel. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be getting that call from my business (laughs) manager. Good candy. Thank you, Tony. (laughs) Didn't really tell you you could do that, but that's okay. Yeah, have you told them about moving items off that thing that like counts the price? Yeah, it's all good. You're a naughty little boy, aren't you? Yeah. Kind of a little misbehavior, huh? <laughs> I take you on private jets. I get you fancy hotel rooms, but that's just not enough, is it? Just had to get some candy. It's like Adam and Eve over here. I'm sorry, Tony. <laughs> if Adam was the size of an atom. <laughs> Stupid. Got him. All Got right. him. Heath, what else? Anything else we should know about? You're a fucking cold-blooded assassin. No, nothing I can think of. You absolutely killed, dude. It's fucking incredible. And it's so much fun to be on the road with people that are appreciative and gracious and having a fucking blast and wowed by everything. And uh, we're definitely going to do a lot more of those. You, Hell yeah. you, you surprised me with how great you did. So I'm very excited. Fuck yeah. Make some noise for him. Golden ticket winner, Heath Cordes, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. This is indeed Cam Patterson. I'm getting used to white culture now since I'm around so many of y'all. And uh, I'm, uh, I used the bidet for the first time. I didn't like it. Y'all, we gotta put water in your ass. You gotta put water. Fuck you with that goddamn water, nigga. I was, I was taking the shit, right? I had a, I had a fresh shit. I was, using, I was trying to use the bidet and I couldn't figure out the buttons on it. So I was just doing this for a minute and then Water just started shooting in my ass. And it didn't stop for two minutes. And I couldn't just get up and let the water go everywhere. I was gonna fuck up the bathroom. So the toilet molested me. And it was one of those smart AI toilets. I was like, nigga, take the water, nigga. Take the water. I, I told that joke to my cousin. He was like, you been around too many white people. That joke is gay. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's my time. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hilarious. Was this the bidet in the green room up there? No, you told me I can't shit in there ever again. <laughs> was oh. it this one up there? No. Wait. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. <laughs> was it today? No, nah, it wasn't today. I saw fucking water. There was an It was today. Amount. It was. <laughs> it was today. <laughs> That is so funny. It's crazy that you could take material and just fucking be doing it in front of whatever, however a million people are going to end up seeing this. But right before we came down to start the show, I went pee. And for the first time ever, you know, and there is, there's a fucking, it's a Joe Rogan strength bidet, by the way, to let you know. Like, this is his club and that is his bidet. There's literally a button called defecate. <laughs> Which is like red. It it's red and it has like a red X over it for some reason. I like that one. That one was scary. That one was terrifying. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. There's a button called defecate, which I don't have on, on my bidet at all. It's like a fucking Rogan strength bidet. And anyway, but there's like, <laughs> there's a wall right across from the toilet. <laughs> so real like this is all fucking i, I never like this joe, is joe needs a spitting back kick to the <laughs> asshole 
and it is all over. <laughs> Alpha. He is in Joe. big trouble. Were you, it just were says you, things were you clean it's cleaning Rogan's your ass. ass. <laughs> when you clean Rogan's ass, three people have to watch it and go, oh! <laughs> and here we go, the start of the fifth round. <laughs> Holy shit. But anyway, there's literally a fucking puddle, and I thought to myself, because I'm like, I, I look at this place as my home too. I thought to myself, I'm like, man, I, I, need to, I need to mention to somebody that that needs to be cleaned up because I don't want the fucking Kill Tony crew being blamed for anything and to find out that it's you and you're just out here confessing it to the world. <laughs> Not only did you take it, but you fucking, you turned it straight into material. Yeah, that shit I saw your up. fucking butt puddle up there. Yeah, it tried... The, the toilet tried to touch me, man. That shit was that crazy. That is hilarious. That shit was fucked up, man. A forced molestation by Rogan's toilet. That is absolutely incredible. In comedy mothership court, you can go, okay, listen, in my client's defense, the bit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> to I was going to say, it worked. Yeah, yeah. So you were trying to get up, and that's how that water got there, and you're like, fuck. Yeah, you, I, could, I realized like, I can't get up or it's going to go everywhere else. So I had to just sit there and just take the water in my ass for a minute. Because the bidet wouldn't fucking stop, bro. It, wasn't, it just kept fucking... Why I go for that long, bro? Oh, yeah. Why you need water in your ass for that long? That was, it was a long time, bro. It's a minute. You just got to let it happen, No, dude. no, the fuck you don't. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Button. Next time you do it, you have to relax. It's like a cold <laughs> plunge or something <laughs> like that. Like, if you tighten up, you're just wasting everything. You have to relax and really let it just fucking... You have to let it go up there. You have to fucking let <laughs> you it... You would say that, Tony. <laughs> you have to let it breathe. Oh, it's amazing. I'm a huge bidet guy. Huge. It's, it's what goes up my ass. A lot of people have wondered, is it dicks? Is it fingers? It's water. That's it. The secret to life. Water. We're made of it. The earth is made of it. Straight up my ass. I love it. Can't get enough of it. In fact, I was telling my crew earlier, because, you know, we just got back from the road yesterday, and my favorite thing when I get back on the road is going to my fucking toilet and pressing fucking buttons. And buttons just, are scary. Them scary buttons. You could take a second shit. You don't know about the second shit. You, did, you, you got scared. You got scared. You, you got thought it, right, it was I got gay. Scared. You thought it was gay. Shit touched at me. <laughs> it touched at you? It touched at me, though. Oh, my God. The toilet touched at me. <laughs> You were touched by an angel. <laughs> Water is life, my friend. It usually jiggles a second shit, like if you keep it going. Well, like, I can't yeah. even imagine yeah. how many shits Red yeah, Band can take. On a... It gets the corners. Yeah, corners. He has an octagon for an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> uh, Greg Fitzsimmons, what do you think about all this bidet talk? Well... I had a cold water bidet. That one's probably got the heat on it. Yeah. No, I didn't I didn't try to press that button. I think it was like lukewarm or some shit. No, you got lukewarm's heat. Lukewarm's good. Trust me. You know when it's cold. I, I disagree. But my asshole's pretty hot after a good dump, and I like the cold water black. It's like getting ass raped by a popsicle. It just cools everything <laughs> down. I enjoy that. When I said I woke I, up... I, I don't. See, I had, I had at one point... Um, there wasn't, uh, when I got my new place, there wasn't an electrical outlet on, uh, n in that yeah. area. So I had to have a cold bidet for a while. And every time I did it, I was like one of the villains from Home Alone, where I'm just sitting there like, oh! Every time. Yeah. I still let it happen, but it shocked me every time. Oh, freaking frack! It was yeah. crazy every time. There was no it. getting used to it. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Home Alone references. Yeah, folks. do that shit. It never gets old. <laughs> All right, very good. Great stuff. Brought to you by <laughs> Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. <laughs> Cam, anything else we need to talk about? You had your first jet rides this weekend. Yeah, that shit. This nigga just farted in my ear, you know? <laughs> The yeah. old Deemer Squeamer over there. <laughs> nah, that shit, was, that shit was crazy, bro. I really enjoyed that shit, mm -hmm. bro. Yeah. That shit was dope. I was telling all my homeboys, like, nigga, we should buy one of these and do, do legal things with it. That is so interestingly yeah, yeah. urban of you to be ready to buy a private jet already. <laughs> like, I've opened up nine theaters. Time to go halfsies <laughs> on a jet. <laughs> See how I, I called it. I was talking for the future. Right. For the future, yeah. yeah. Right. We're going to do legal things with it, because no, there's no TSA there. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. 100% legal things. 
totally legal. 100% legal thing. No one's checking for anything. Nothing at all. At all. At all. You it's, walk straight through there. You walk straight. With 12 pounds, whatever you want. You That's know? right. 12 pounds. Whatever I know because want. I carried Heath in my fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get this straight. So your plan mm. is to get so successful that uh -huh. you can buy a private jet uh -huh. and you? then start selling drugs. I was just saying, <laughs> I didn't say that at all. That wasn't but said at all. You made it already, dude. I You're didn't, so good look at this. Me, look at me. I didn't say that at all. That was not what I said at all. <laughs> all right. For the record, you didn't say that. I said nothing like true. that ever. <laughs> you don't know what those pounds are filled with, sir. I could like candy a lot. You don't know that. All right, case dismissed. 100%. Yeah, very good. Very good. All right, let, let him go. <laughs> He's getting too close to me. Let him go. <laughs> not guilty. Thank you so much. I love it. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Uh, unbelievable from, you know, having an incident up in the restroom to yeah. bringing it on stage and another fantastic interview. The great and powerful oh, Hold on, wait, wait. My, my mama yeah. here. What's up, mama? Oh, yeah, hey, that's mama. right. Mama Patterson in the hey, house mama. tonight. I, I love you. Uh, that's it. Yeah, she's the best. She's the best we man. got her up on the fucking super duper VIP balcony up there. And all moms care about is that you wash your ass, right? That's right. Got that right. Hell yeah, yeah. That's right. And Hell don't yeah. be gay. Don't be gay, 100%. And you, oh, well, you can be gay. That's right. I love gay people. I'm Cam Patterson. That's right. There he goes, Cam Patterson. On his way to buy a jet. This is Hans Kim, everybody. This is Hans Kim. This is Hans Kim. Hey! What's up, guys? Good to be here. Love how cold it is right now, because now we all have Asian dicks. <laughs> I love how Texans never honk. They'll be like, why would I honk at this guy? Just because he's texting at a green light. That's what my gun is for. <laughs> it kind of scares me when I tell Texans that I bought a gun for the first time. They're like, good. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> I went back to Seattle recently. Very tough to be from Seattle, my hometown, because all of my friends have transitioned and now I have to remember two sets of names. <laughs> all right, that should be about 60 seconds, right? <laughs> All right, yeah, 55 seconds from Hans Kim. I love it. All right, jet lag. Red Band waits until the initial applause die out. He waits until you start talking. So whatever you're trying to milk over there, I don't know what's going on, but we got through it. How about one more time for Hans Kim, everybody? Cold Asian dicks checks out, absolutely. The honking thing is a weird thing here in Texas. That is a thing. I remember when I first got here, I was like, at a, I was doing something. I was at a hotel or something and somebody wouldn't move. I was like dropping somebody off and a car wouldn't move and I go beep, beep. And some, exactly, that's a, it's the horn on my car. Thank you, Red Band. Uh, <laughs> this show is so stupid. There you go, thank, okay, thank you, yes. That's my Corvette engine and my horn. So I start the car and it goes, and then I go, all right. And some lady was like, we don't honk here in Texas. And I'm like, what? And, and, I, and I, didn't know what to, I didn't know how to respond to that, but I've realized since then people really don't honk. Do you guys know about this? Yeah. Yeah. This fucking guy said, yeah, quick, was that you? <laughs> you born and raised in Texas? Why do you think that is that it's a Texas thing not to honk? Courtesy, what a bunch of homos, Jesus. <laughs> Courtesy, how about you, Cur how about you, Curtis? Courtesy, get the fuck out of my way. Courteously, <laughs> courteously, what the fuck? Oh shit, marijuana. Um, you ever heard of something so crazy? No honking? No, it sounds gay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It sounds like the only time you really hear the horn is coming off the guy's forehead when he's going down on you. <laughs> that is true. You know what that sounds like. Okay, that is not, all right. So Hans, how's it going? What else is going on with you? I'm doing good. Um, you know, my, I fucked a stripper in a broom closet. 
That um, is true. What, back in the day. That the was, rumor uh, is you got fucked by a stripper at a broom closet. <laughs> yeah, can you explain so that I, Dave understands what it's like having sex with Hans? Because Greg said that you got fucked, and I kind of agree with that. Uh, can you explain? Yeah, the- well, I agree with Dave as well. I did not consent for a lot of it. Uh, <laughs> She was very forceful. She's like, this is going to happen. And there's a guy that can watch us while we're doing it, too. And I was like, eh, I'm good on the guy. Yeah. Uh, they I say you the never water. forget the first time you get pegged. <laughs> no? That's my you guys, don't be judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Honking of the horn. So I didn't, I don't think I remember that part. It was she her invited boyfriend. a guy to come into the broom closet with you? It was her boyfriend. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a tight squeeze. (laughs) Not her vagina, but the closet. (laughs) Anybody that would fuck you, it's probably like throwing a fucking ramen noodle into a bowl. You know what I mean? It's just a lot of extra space there. What is your dick to vagina ratio, Hans? I've never, I don't think I've asked you that. I have one dick and I'm a huge pussy. There you go. Uh, (laughs) There you go. Perfect. Um... I love it. What else is going on? Enough about uh, the past. What about this week, Hans? I went to the Renaissance Festival with my girlfriend. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Those of you that don't know, there is an awesome human being that comes to every show, and it's fun to hear what he laughs at. Uh, (laughs) It's not necessarily punchline type of stuff, but our friend Chief here, when you said, I went to a renaissance, but he just started cracking up. It's like he can foresee (laughs) what's about to happen. Tell us more about you at this renaissance festival, Hans. How did you fit in? I've never seen an Asian person at a... I've never gone to a renaissance (laughs) festival, but I've never imagined an Asian person being there. What are you doing there? Are you just like dressed up like Genghis Khan or something (laughs) like that? Just mauling people? What's happening? I was just tr- trying to fit in, you know, wearing my Western clothing, my, uh, my peasant's European white, white passing clothes. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> and okay. I, uh, I had a great time, drank a lot of mead. They have straws and mead. I was just sipping it, and then I got really fucked up on the, on the white man's juice. And, uh, ah, back to the broom closet we go. <laughs> the white man's juice. What would the Asian man's juice be? Probably sake or uh, soju or maybe even just like, you know, ox milk. Soju, is that what... Soju, what is that? Is that when somebody doesn't leave a tip at a restaurant? (laughs) Uh... Hey, 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 Tony's first soju joke, everybody. (laughs) Soju. Soju. (laughs) Soju. 5% so Jew. <laughs> That's really sake. <laughs> what was the third one? Ox juice? What did you ox say? Ox milk, ox milk. Ox milk. What the fuck is ox milk? Uh, the, the milk of an ox. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Or a I water think that's buffalo. bull sperm, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've been milking the males on accident. How do you yeah, milk an milk. ox? Can you show us how you milk an ox? You're Asian. Uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit, Hansy boy. My dear, dear Hans Kim is a wild animal. How's your relationship going? My girlfriend is great. She is, uh, you know, starting fewer fights with me now. Uh, like, a, what was it like? A, can you, I know we never plan any of these interviews, so I, I, I don't want to get you in trouble. But can you give us an example of what a fight was this week? Uh, well, um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was bringing her to a Renaissance fair where they're known to <laughs> rape the women. <laughs> I, I was uh, actually on this show. I actually said that I wanted to have a threesome with her friend. And she really didn't think that was a cool thing to say. Right. That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, uh, did it last long? Do your fights last long? Do you solve them quickly? We solve them pretty quickly. I usually try to end it with a little sex. I feel like that helps. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Okay. And you, guys, you guys have a lot of sex. Am I correct? Yeah. Um, we had a lot of sex. Um, but, like, I took her to Tacoma this weekend, and we didn't really have that much sex. We, uh, we only had one and a half sex. 
Oh, one and a half sex. Explain yeah. to us and the people listening around the world, what, what counts for half a sex? That's when uh, I cuddle her, and then with this hand, I jerk off onto her. Oh, <laughs> wow. Ooh, the old cuddle and puddle. The old fucking... <laughs> the old fucking ox milk over here. The old fucking... Um. The old fucking... All right, guys. <laughs> Han, so much fun. Way to get tonight's show started. Is Thank there anything I'm it. missing? Anything you want to say? Um, I had a great time at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, did they let you in for free? <laughs> They're like, just give us a shout-out, dude. You're good. Come on in. Come on in, bro. <laughs> we need some promos at the Renaissance Festival. A shout out to every Renaissance Festival. You'll never hear that on like a black radio station where they actually give shout outs like, yo, 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 shout out to my fucking Uncle Charles Charles and the Renaissance Festival on Martin Luther King Drive. Did you do stand up at the festival? No. I, uh, I, was, just, I was just a peasant. Oh. Just walking around. You weren't the court jester. No. I, w I wish that was some white guy. Yeah. Amazing. There, was there a court jester? Yeah, there was a whole show. They were uh, swallowing swords and, you know, doing ah, all that stuff. Enough yeah. about your girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> it's nice. All right. We love you, Hans. Way to get it started. There he goes. Thank you, Tony. A new minute from the legendary regular Hans Kim. Okay. Here Prince we go. uninterrupted. Make some noise for Layla Ingalis, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, my name is Layla. Uh, I think the only thing sadder than rape is attempted rape. <laughs> because then not only are you a piece of shit, but you're a failure too. <laughs> I know I sound like a girl that might do eeny meeny miny mo to decide what kind of gas to put in my car. <laughs> And I do. <laughs> Today got diesel. <laughs> uh, when I first started my period, I treated pads like diapers. I know. I thought we could just let anything go in them. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Layla Ingalitz. Welcome to the show, Layla. That was great. Thank you. Thank Hell you. yeah. That was funny for a boy. Whoa. <laughs> that was amazing. How long have you been doing stand-up? It's been exactly a year now. Oh, this guy's, this guy's going to jerk off. Look at this fucking guy. Mr. Obvious over here. Arr, moving his chair. Excuse me. Oh, just got to pee out of nowhere. Uh, fuck, oh, fuck, got to pee. <laughs> So about a year, mm -hmm. where at? Well, I started exactly a year ago in Austin, last November. Okay. But, so, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I live in Ohio. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Go Buckeyes, the new number one team in college football. Boy, oh boy, look who's making a run for it. And Michigan this week, who's no longer allowed to steal signs. Isn't that incredible? Gotta talk our shit. It's so fun. Anyway, uh, what made you come to Austin to start and then go back to Dayton? Is that where you lived before? Yeah, I was born and raised in Dayton, but uh, I was so scared to do it around people I knew. So I was like, if I come to Austin, I don't know anybody. So if I bomb, it doesn't matter. Hell yeah. And now here you are on the most watched uh, comedy show in the universe. So everybody in Dayton that has the internet can see it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good thing you just realized that now. Oh, yeah, I did eeny, meeny, miny, mo between this or another open mic. Hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> Solid callback. Absolutely. You know, Tony, I could tell it's 64.9 degrees in this room right now. It literally is 64.9 degrees in the room. I was on at Vulcan when you guys were at Vulcan, and I wore the same tank top but blue, and he made a comment about oh, no. my tits. So. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't even know... I didn't even know what you were referencing, by the way. I'm so used to you just fucking bombing that I didn't even know you were mentioning her uh, nipples. You are a, a, a blatant sexual harasser, Red Band. 
can I tell you? I, I, thought, I, I thought it was a shrinkage joke for him. And Dude. people always ask, like, why, hey, if you're in Texas, why do you wear jackets and coats and whatnot? It's because we keep the studio cool because fucking laughter and humidity builds up in here, so you have I mean, to. I, and we I have an actual so... thermometer that we keep here all the time, and it literally is 64.9 degrees. You can confirm Dude, in the front row. I Just... so didn't get Brian's comment right. that I thought she was being narcissistic when she made it all about her tits. Right. Like, I was like, Absolutely. that's not what he was talking about. <laughs> right. She's a smart chick. She knows What's yeah. up? Yeah. That's right. I, I sound really smart, too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Layla, what do you do for a living in Dayton? What keeps you in Dayton, Ohio? I work at the Dayton Funny Bone. Wow. What do you do there? I, I serve. Okay. I'm a server. But why... Do, Thank why, you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> why, do you uh, why do you stay in Dayton? Well... That's because I don't have a lot of money and it costs a lot to live here. And I'm not like one of the people that are okay with being in their car. Right. So. Have you ever thought about saving a few thousand dollars and starting here and then you could serve here in a better economy and less taxes? And then I have my brother got a house here. So I could what? Live, my brother got a house here oh. so I could live with him. But yeah. I don't know. A lot has been happening in Ohio. I know Austin is so much cooler than Ohio, but like I'm getting a lot of opportunity out there. Well, don't you think you would get a lot of opportunity where there's more opportunities? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Antarctica's great. I've been having a lot of opportunities here. <laughs> You're right. Maybe I should do eeny, meeny, miny, mo about it. That's probably a better idea than nothing at all. Eeny, miny, mo. Austin or slowly dying. Dayton is actually one of the worst places in Ohio. It is. It's horrible. Yes, it really is. A lot yeah. of people don't know this. People think Ohio is like a farm city because it sounds like Iowa and shit. Like it's like people get it confused. Ohio has a lot of major cities, and one of the worst ones, maybe the seventh or eighth best one, is Dayton. Yeah, I'm the only other girl that does comedy there. Right. There's two of us. Right. Absolutely. And Dude, yeah. I mean, look, I thought you were great tonight, but if you're telling me in an entire city there's two female comedians, the odds that one of them would be funny is so low. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you are funny is pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah. No? No, I'm yeah. saying. I'm it, sure you guys don't know about the odds of female comedians. No, that's being exactly okay. exactly what I was saying. And these opportunities that you're getting, are, do they tend to be mostly from uh, male comedians that want to hang out with you? Well, I like to think it's not, but I, I guess it probably is. Well, I mean, it's it's you're funny, so we got that out of the way. Like at least you have one funny minute. We know that for sure, but. Don't you like? I'm asking you when the when you get the things that they offer you, these opportunities. Do they tend to make a move on you in some kind of way? Yes, and right. I, I've learned that uh, if comics ask, "Hey, do you want to write?" It means like, "Hey, do you want to fuck?" That is correct. Yeah. That Amateurs. Correct. Yes. Amateurs. No one just wants to randomly write with people. Yeah. That also no. applies to every question a dude asks. Right. <laughs> yes. It's and not just any, writing. And in any like, industry, exactly. Yeah. If you work at a gas station and someone's like, hey, do you want to drink coffee and, <laughs> and talk about stuff tomorrow? <laughs> they don't really want to talk to you. They yeah. want to do things with you. Because boys and girls, they do things. Well, that, would, that would happen here too, right? Yeah, that would happen. Yeah, that would happen on top of other things. There's just no escaping it, I guess. That's true. That's yeah. true. You could buy a coat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a, that is. That is true. That is indeed. That's how Red Band covers up his tits. So. <laughs> Very well, easy. I did it. I did it to see if you would make a comment about it. You did. And you did. <laughs> you did. Got that's me. incredible. Lawsuit incoming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. Layla, I want to know more about you. Tell us some interesting fun facts about your life or anything like that. Uh, I, I can, I have weird talents. Like, I can talk with my mouth closed. It's not like ventriloquism. My cheeks get puffy. It's something. Let's see it. Absolutely. How many of you want to see that, huh? 
Okay, I've never done it into a microphone, so hopefully it's okay. Uh huh. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing. Show. Oh my goodness. Do you that, have a bit about that? that you have incredible. to have a bit about that. That's I've, a... I've been trying to make a bit about it. I'm not sure exactly how to work it out, though. Can wow. you try? Can I just hear you say, don't come in my mouth while you do it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we can meet at a coffee oh. shop and write about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. It'll be Red Band's first time writing in eight years, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Can you actually write with Red Band, please? It'll be good for him. <laughs> uh, Layla, what else? Other than the talking with the mouthful of cheeks thing, uh, what, else, what else are you into? What do you do for fun? Uh, I like to frolic outside. Ah, okay. Uh, kind, of, kind of a hippie. Yeah, uh, you yeah. smoke a lot of pot? Yeah, but never before stand-up. I can't remember any of my jokes if I do. Right. I only tried it one time, and I was like, I'm not as quick, so I don't do it before stand-up. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and have you thought about making any, doing other things in order to make enough money to get out of Dayton, Ohio? Yeah, I actually saved up a couple thousand to move here, uh -huh. but then just so much opportunity in Dayton. <laughs> What type of opportunities are you fucking talking so, about? Just so many guys want to write with her, Tony. Yeah. yeah, what are these opportunities? Well, I actually just got uh, hired to be on a little sketch comedy show. Okay. So. <laughs> Is it called Saturday Night Live? <laughs> no. Right. So what the fuck are you talking about? What, what little sketch comedy show is being filmed in Dayton, Ohio? It's called Slapstick Comedy. It's actually out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, yeah, no Bring one knows about it. We're getting show closer to Cleveland. No, not, not a, not a, there you go. Very good. Thank you, Red Band, for the pointless sound effect. Thank you. Look up the fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Slapstick Comedy in Columbus, Ohio. I, I don't think they have anything out yet. So what are you... The fuck? You're, do you, you realize this is like the writing thing, right? Okay, I guess you got They're going to slap their stick against you is what's oh. happening. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, come, come, be, come do some sketch with us. Uh, it's a slapstick. It's a... Uh, Red Band, pull up the fucking thing. God. Oh, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing is the verdict. So there really is nothing on the internet. So you're yeah, starting a sketch group in Dayton, Ohio. All right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to move. You got me. Okay. All right. What are you scared of? Well, I'm afraid because it's going really well in Ohio. I'm afraid it won't. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So here's the first step. Listen, it's not going that good in Ohio. All right? It's really not. Okay. Okay. I'll stop saying that. I'll stop saying that. I'm afraid if I come here, maybe it won't go well. But I can't let fear get in my way, I guess. That is true. Hey, Tony. Yes, Red Band. I have breaking news. I found sla slapstick comedy. They have 58 subscribers. Whoa. That's not. That's not the thing. It that's is. That's not the right thing. It, 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 is that it? Is. it? Is yeah. that, can you see that? Yeah. No, go back to the fucking main uh, page, Red Band. Yeah. Is that the thing? Yeah, Misha. Yeah, oh, that's that Misha. <laughs> Ninety-one Media. views one year ago. <laughs> It is the promo video for Slapstick Comedy. 91 views wow. oh in God. one year. Right, you know what? Tony, you're wrong. You're going to have to ride this thing out. <laughs> yeah. It's a no-brainer. Yeah, you got to see where this is going. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Mo money, eeny, miny, mo problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's an absolute no-brainer. This, this could be the gateway to doing improv in Toledo. <laughs> <laughs> Great Ohio joke. Oh, my goodness. Who knows? If you can make it here, you can make it in Chillicothe. <laughs> Saintsville! Woo! Wow. My goodness. Wow. How long are you in town for? I'll oh, be, Jesus uh, fucking Christ. You are disgusting. You know that? Oh, I man. leave. I'll be here until next Wednesday. Well, I'd love to have you on The Secret Show Thursday. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so, yes, it's yes. literally, it's becoming a punchline. It used to be like an opportunity for people. She had a great set. She's she, from Ohio. She, she did funny. have a great set. You're right. Thank you. Thank you're you. You're from Ohio. You had a great set. You're leaving with a big joke book. There you go. Thank you guys so Ohio. much. Ohio. Got those Ohio hands. Good catcher. Marvin Harrison Jr. 
future Heisman Trophy winner. Looks like a new one. Filiberto Gomez, everybody. Here we go. Filiberto. Oh, shit. Oh, gang signs and the horns. Filiberto Gomez, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, guys? Um, I recently got sober from Xanax. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Well, not because I wanted to. Uh, my drug dealer, he overdosed and he died. <laughs> and, like, it was intentional and everything. So, like, if he knew he was going out like that, he couldn't have a going out of business, though. Selfish, if you ask me. Like, he knew he had social anxiety. He's just going to leave me hanging like that? How am I going to find another drug dealer? Right? I got slightly better news than that. My girlfriend recently cheated on me. She cheated on me in rehab. So I guess she was getting better. <laughs> just, just better dick. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I should have got suspicious when she would call and talk about AA. She would say things like, things are getting really deep with AA. Things are really opening up with AA. At this point, AA was just code word for African American. <laughs> Hell yeah. My name is uh, my name is Filiberto, and I thought it was obvious I was Mexican, but that's my time. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. All right, Filiberto. Okay. So wait, she went to rehab and was cheating on you. Yeah, yeah. She okay. found a rehab boyfriend and everything, and okay. ran off with him for sure. All right. What I was shot. she on? Oh, uh, she was alcoholic. alcoholic. She was an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's all true. All true. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. someone was filling her Berto. <laughs> Unfor unfortunately, yep, yep. So, Filiberto, where are you from? I'm from deep, deep South Texas. Uh, deep, deep South? Yeah, oh, from the border town. Because people think, like, South Texas, like, they think of San Antonio or Corpus, but I'm from, like, a border town down in the Rio Grande Valley. Right, the Rio Grande uh, Valley. Oh, actually, Mike, Michael Gonzalez, yeah, our I'm chief Hardison, super I Mexican correspondent here yeah. with another layer of well, questions. If you're wondering how South he is, he's from Mexico. Um, can, can I say, can I, he, he was actually at a wedding that I was in. Um, wow, Amy, Amy that and is the most Mexican shit a ever. Amy and CJ? No. I was in that wedding. Yeah, CJ's one of my best friends. <laughs> yeah. Even Michael Gonzalez's oh, yeah. mind Shout is blown right now. Shout out Amy and CJ now. when y'all see this. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. This is more Mexican than being inside of a piñata right now, everybody. This is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Don't hit, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I got, I got, I got candy in me. Obviously, I'm fat. Oh, my goodness. Hell yeah. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, look, another blind guy. Here he is. Out oh, of nowhere. Shit. Oh, it's... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you would think that the guy that helps the blind guy wouldn't wear sunglasses like a blind guy. It's like there's double blind guys. <laughs> like, we should be able to tell oh, them yeah. apart. Like, oh, that's the one that helps the blind guy. It kind of looks yeah. like D is helping him right now. <laughs> it looks like D is guiding him out. I wonder if they can see each other. <laughs> oh, Filiberto's yeah. riffing everybody. Oh, Here I'm we sorry. go. I'm sorry. Oh, shit, I'm he's just sorry. Part, <laughs> of the, oh, yeah. part of the riff festival. Yeah. I love it. What do you do for work, Filiberto? Uh, so I sell pest products to pest control companies. It's really easy. It's like the McDonald's version of like pest control. Like the, the pest, pest control is what you're saying. Yeah, pest control. Okay. I sell pest products to pest control companies. Although yeah. with that jacket, you could work uh, filling potholes on a night crew. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll that, that is true. It is an aggressively orange jacket. It's, it's my lucky jacket because I put the jacket on for the first time and I got on the mothership last night. So I was like, hey, maybe it works. You got on at the open mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how'd yeah. that go? For it went you? amazing, bro. I felt like it was my best set of all time. Like I was in the pocket the whole time. It felt okay. good. Okay, felt good. That's fun. Yeah, that's exciting. And you just came here randomly. You you still live down south? No, no. I've been in Austin for about eight years. Um, but I only been doing comedy for about a month and a half. A month and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. What a fun weekend for you. Yeah, it was a good last weekend. night randomly at the open mic. That's all random drawn, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. uh you got picked out of the bucket here today. Yeah, all Where random. do you think all this good luck is coming from? Um, Wait, did you just wink at me? I think I did. Why, why did you wink at me like that? I don't know. That? I just felt the vibe. I don't know. I just felt the vibe. Like maybe, maybe, maybe we're on the top of level. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, I'm what? Dude. I don't know. The guy, Tony, this guy got picked out of two buckets in a row. He's fucking shooting his shot yeah, right bro. now. Like, what the no. fuck? <laughs> Like, let's fucking make it. It was a natural reaction. I'm sorry. I thought we were on a subconscious type of level or something. <laughs> like, Tony, we all saw it. You were coming onto this, dude. Oh, no. I'm, oops. Oops. Was it an accidental wink or was it real? It was like subconscious. I don't know. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, I guess I did. I guess I guess the universe was like, whoop. Look right at you. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shout out CJ and Amy. I love y'all. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the fuck is going on here? A lot of things. A lot of things are going on, Tony. It's All right. What do you do for work, Filiberto? You just asked me, but I'll tell you again. Um, <laughs> oh, pest control. That's right. Yeah, pest it's control. all good. It's all good. I know. So, you. what kind of pest Dude, are you controlling? Got totally okay, rattled. David, with another. All right. What? <laughs> Same question. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. I have no I idea. I think we're vibing. Trying to get, uh, yeah, sometimes I, think, I, I just think we're vibing. I'm... What? I think we're vibing. I think that's what's going on. Okay, I, you're a random bucket pool. I don't okay, really. Okay, all fucking, right, There's all right, tons yeah. of names. Look yeah. at this. It could have been fucking anybody. I, I don't you. know what the fuck you're winking at, dude. I'm sorry. It's creepy. Don't be creepy, you're, Filiberto. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that's my number one trait. Are you kind of gay? Is that what's happening? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Have nah. you ever done anything with a guy before? Nah, not yet. Right. <laughs> What's the gayest thing? What's the gayest thing you've ever done? Uh, you ever sit let's on be honest. In middle school, me and my homies used to like jack each other off. Oh. <laughs> Shout out CJ! Shout out CJ! Man, that's a lifelong friend, baby. That's what you know. That's what you know, baby. That's what you know. We're real friends. I'm sorry, Amy. Hey, Amy, this is before he met you. This is way before he met you, bro. Hey, you're not best friends until you you, you fucked around with your best friends. <laughs> it was a middle school. It was a middle school, baby. <laughs> CJ is about to blow his fucking brains yeah, out. This is incredible. Yeah, CJ has dog. seven that's days of life left. That's your dog. <laughs> Wait, you know yeah. CJ from the yeah, wedding? Bro. Oh, shit. Wait a second. This is all crazy. This that's is like best, Mexican best Jerry best Springer up here. I was in the wedding. Holy yeah. shit. We are finding out there is a lot going on. Wait, you know CJ, bro, Michael? You, do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? Filiberto, shut the fuck up. Okay, okay. Time to shut up. Yeah, yeah. You have CJ's number? So CJ's wife is my sister's best friend. I don't Wait, do you have... Hold on. Let, let's see how many... Let, let's see. Dude, call that's your, old, Call him. Dave, hold on. Call your sister. Sister's best friend. Right. Yeah. Call your sister and have her call the best friend. Let's patch him in. But that, I mean, that was what? In middle school, like 13, 15 years Filiberto, ago? Filiberto, shut the fuck up. Okay. Shut okay. up. Okay, okay, okay. Until I ask you a question, shut up. Okay, okay. <laughs> This is all gonna happen. We have to get, yeah. You have CJ's number. Put the mic up, Deemer. You got it. Put the mic up there. Yeah. Can what? you can you send it to me? We have. Uh, Just we have, send it. Can you send it to me? Yeah. Send it to me really quick. Yeah. As soon as you can. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> these, <laughs> Mexicans, <laughs> these Mexicans never stop Yo. fucking. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Can you yeah. send me CJ's number? Yeah. yeah. I think Heath's up there doing the fucking. <laughs> Heath's out there on the loose right now. We got a fucking. Shit. Oh my god. El Squirt. Hey, Text it to me. Right. Hold on. I'll right, send it to you. All right, send it to oh me. Oh my goodness. Okay. We are we are so close to for CJ. Holy shit. Can we bring back the Indian guy for the ultimate cold what? call? <laughs> yep. Just a long pause. Hello, CJ. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, look at Filiberto regretting his decision tremendously. Right? <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh my God! I got hold it. On. Hold on, Michael. Hold on. Hold right, on. Okay. All right. All right. Hold okay. On. Wait. 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 Everybody, stop. Hold on right, a second. We go. This is the part where we have to wait. 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 Don't hit it. Did you already hit it? Okay. No. That mic isn't on the pod, right? Is it, not, is it on the podcast or not? It is. It is. Are it is positive? now. Oh, shit. <laughs> that, but you're sure that's on the track for the pod? I'm recording it, yes. You're 100% sure. <laughs> 100. Okay. All right. You, got, you know what to do, Michael. Here we go. Right this up is to the front of that phone. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Here we go. Kino on the lighting. Filiberto, take a, take a half a step uh, this way. Hello. Hi, Amy. This is Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Hey, is CJ around you? No, he's at work. No. He'll be here. Wait, 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 wait. Where did where does CJ work? Minutes. Where did uh? No. It's okay. We can bleep it. All right, you're on. You're, uh, you're on KT right now. I need. Uh, can you send me CJ's number? Yeah, I'll send you CJ's number. Okay. You want to write it down? Uh, I'm I'm busy right now. <laughs> I can't write it down. Uh, can you text just text it. it to me? Yeah, I'll text. Oh, hold it on you. one second though. Before you go, right, hold on, hold on, Amy, hold on. Tony's got a question. For Hi, you. Amy. It's Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> it's on. You're on Kill Tony right now. How are you? I'm doing good. 
So let me get this right. You're CJ's wife, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, I'm going to have my friend here describe his penis to you. And, uh, <laughs> and then I want you to confirm if that's correct. This is uh, Filiberto. Hey, Amy, well, it's Toon. You know me as Toon, right? What? I can't really hear. You know me as Toon? Toon? To what? Filiberto. Toon. Toon. Talking to the phone. Hey, well, hey, what do you think the mic's going to do right now? Tune, right? Dave, 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 Dave. It's Toon. Toon from your wedding, Tim? Tune, Toon, T-O-O-N. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, so CJ's dick's kind of small, right? Oh, what the... I can't hear. <laughs> he, he can't speak properly. He has... Met... This was at middle school, so maybe he grew. Maybe he grew. Yeah. Every, wait, everybody's dick is small in middle school. <laughs> Hold on. Let's call CJ. We're going to call CJ. Thank you, Amy. All right. We're, okay. we're, we are, okay. we are one. Sorry, couldn't be of more help. No, you did great, You're Amy. Great. You did great. You did fantastic. This is like who wants to be a millionaire where the person doesn't know the answer. Can you describe? Here's the question. Can you describe? Yeah, can you get that music out? There? We'll wait a second. Uh, Red Band doesn't know how to spell millionaire. All right. She sent, she's texting me his number right now. No, come on. Come on. Come on, Red Band. It's M I L L I O. <laughs> is his dick music. small? Music. You have to get the theme music, not the fucking show. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, I got it. And here we go. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it up. Who wants to be a middle school jerk-off guy? <laughs> I'm not gay now. All right, here we go. This is perfect. You ready? Yes. And we are phoning a friend right now, everybody. <laughs> All right, lower it. What's up, CJ? This is Mikey. This is Bree's brother. What's up? How you doing, What's going man? On? Good, good, good. Good, good. All right, so I have, I have, a, I have your homie here, Toon. I got this. All right. Mike, <laughs> tell him, tell him, right, tell him, tell so him he's this, on with me. So check this out. You're on KT right now. Tony's got a couple questions for you. Well, I'm at work right now. I get off of like in ten minutes. No, 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 no. no. It's okay. You can take this question. You have thirty seconds. I can't hear you. You got thirty seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. All right, perfect. Okay, so, um, you know what? Uh, yeah, give me the phone. Deemer, give me the phone. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Okay, so, if you answer this question honestly and correctly, I'm going to Venmo you $500. Oh, my God. <laughs> but... If you lie or answer it incorrectly, you get nothing. Do you okay. understand? Yes. So, we have pulled out of the bucket your friend, Filiberto. Do you remember Filiberto yes. from middle school? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Got that Kung Fu grip. What the fuck? Hold on. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to bother you while you're at work. You have 20 more seconds. Yes. What happened? Okay. So uh, all right. So here is the question. When you were in middle school, you and Filiberto did something to one another. This is your what? chance to win $500 if you answer honestly. What did you and Filiberto do to one another that's kind of naughty that you might not want out in public, but you can get $500 Venmo to your account this evening? Right now, if you tell the truth, and now is your time to answer. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> hurt, hurt, hurt. I have no idea. All Never right. Okay, okay. So I'm going to give you four <laughs> options, all right? 
We're gonna make this a multiple choice question. I'm gonna still, normally I would hang up the phone and keep my $500 and spend it on uh, uh, bidet water or something like that. But I'm gonna give you one more chance. We're gonna make this multiple choice. You have another minute. Make it quick, make it quick. Okay, here we go. That's right, we have to make it quick. So the multiple choice options are, did you and Filiberto, when you were in middle school, comb each other's hair, brush each other's teeth, jerk each other off, or make each other breakfast every day for a year? It was uh, brush each other's teeth. <laughs> Sorry. He hung up. <laughs> That's my boy, bro. That's my lifelong best friend. That's my lifelong best friend. I love that guy. Oh my god, and I am five hundred dollars richer. <laughs> Holy shit! This show. Oh, he's calling back. Hit the fucking music. Oh my God, give me that who wants to be a millionaire. Went straight to voicemail. Okay, we calling him back? back. Okay, up. let's call him back again. All right, $200 I if he answers honestly now. <laughs> He has a serious job, Filiberto says. Is it a hand job? You son of a bitch. A serious job. Oh. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right. How I many of you think we should call him back in 10 minutes when the. All right. Filiberto, you hang out out back. We're going to bring you back at the end of tonight's episode, and we're going to see if. Uh, Michael, you know. <laughs> Wait, what's his name again? CJ, you know CJ. Is this is this like a devastating blow for him? I mean, he he were, he has a government job. Okay, uh, all right. Well, cut it. Wait, out. hold on. That shit might get you promoted today. Yeah, that is true. That is That's true. A... He has an open mind and a closed hand. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Filiberto. Whatever you want. Who do you think gave the better hand job? You or him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he did. I came, I came faster. Whoa, very good. Okay. And when he would do that, where would you come? Would you, would you just keep it? Where, where was your standing position? I'd be like, I'm about to come. And I'll, I'll kind of like take off. You'd run? You'd run away? I didn't want to come on him. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't Oh, gay. now was, you're uh, trying to cover your bases. <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm going to come. <laughs> We're helping each other out, bro. Bro's, gotta, bro's getting each other's bros back. Bro. Yeah, well, it wasn't gay. It wasn't gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gay if you go come in the corner. <laughs> wow, no, I, I can't believe he went with we brushed each other's teeth. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Of all the responses, you would think maybe the breakfast every day for a year. I mean, I did kind of like, I kind of, I was pretty good at disguising the gave each other hand job. Like I like said it fast and went. Did, it, did anyone else catch the point when Tony went, I'll give you four options and he went, mm -hmm, make it quick. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he felt the walls closing in on him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, Filiberto, I will tell you this. We're going to let CJ, uh, we're going to, oh, you're not going to offer him a show, a secret show? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, we, uh, <laughs> you were a fantastic interview, Filiberto. Being honest, honest and sharing yeah, honest. things about your real life is everything that the interview on this show is all about. I love all of y'all, bro. I love this show. Your interview was so good that you're getting a big joke book and uh, some Zipix toothpicks and a gel blaster and a can of liquid death on us. There you go. Oh, shit. It's hard to throw it with the Zipix. I tried to keep the Zipix in there. I failed. We're done? That was my bad. That was my bad throw, by the uh, way. I, I was ready for it, but not really. I know. I, Lord knows you are. You're always ready to take a load at any given point. <laughs> All right. There he goes. Filiberto Gomez. Good job tonight, Filiberto. Thank you. There he goes. Filiberto Gomez. Yeah, you're going to get that on the way out. Yep. Yeah. Man, he really wanted that gel blaster. This guy loves blasting gel. You know what I mean? Tarantula. The vanilla gorilla. Oh. 
the New Orleans Saint, the Memphis Strangler, the Big Red Machine. This is indeed William Montgomery. That dude's dad should have taught himself how to shoot himself in the fucking head. What the fuck? <laughs> so I'm very excited to be here tonight after having cancer removed from my face twice last week. But I think y'all would like to know the doctor said I may be the best pound for pound cancer fighter he's ever seen. <laughs> The good news, he said that there's a cure. The bad news, it's cocaine. So I'm back, baby! I just found out that Barry Manilow came out as gay. Did y'all know this? I'm so pissed because I'm going to have to throw away all of my shirtless Barry Manilow posters into the trash. Okay, I stumbled on that one a little bit. I saw... I had cancer! ripped out of my face a couple days ago. I'm not doing good right now. But I did, I saw a condom commercial last night. That industry must be in shambles. Zoomers don't have sex. Straight people realized you can't get AIDS if you're straight. Gays are on prep. You know condom companies about to be saying, we'll make your dick bigger, promise. <laughs> And if that doesn't work, they're going to start saying, ladies, if he doesn't use a Trojan, he's a rapist. <laughs> okay, that's my time. Thank you. All right. There we go. The great, the powerful William Montgomery. I love that cardigan. You have a real sturdy look tonight. Thank you so much. Again, I had a 50-50 shot at living or dying before the surgeries. Y'all don't know this, but I had a 50-50 shot. So after I came out on the other side, uh, oh, I you, think I'm going to get into sweaters. So I got this sweater today. I literally got that. I swear to God, life is too fucking short. I'm going to start getting nice fucking sweaters. I was on my death's bed. Tony, I literally saw the light on Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday. That is true. So we had the operation last Tuesday. I get a call on Wednesday saying he couldn't sleep from the pain the night before. And the doctors called back saying that they looked at what they took out and they didn't get all of it. And uh, they had to go back in and do another operation yes. for, uh, for the cancer. They had to get more out of you. So you uh, weren't able to make it this weekend. Tell us more. So did they put you out for these? Yeah, no, Tony, when I said I saw the light earlier, my heart literally stopped. Redheaded people need more anesthesia. They pump me with too much anesthesia. I do remember hearing doctors kind of yelling off to the side, but yeah, no, I was dead. I was clinically dead for a couple of minutes, Tony. And I. Because it seems like they would use a local anesthesia for that. I can no, they literally the see the. There. I can see the stitches. It's a, about a one inch, uh, inch and a half wound. It was really bad. You should have seen how big the hole they cut out of my face. I mean, Tony, it was brutal. I was on Advil, liquid gels, the whole fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I love Advil, liquid gels. Now, <laughs> oh, you do. Yeah, no, they really held my face. I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk. I was eating SpaghettiOs out the frame. I could not stop eating SpaghettiOs. You were eating and, them out the frame? Yeah, out the frame. I just fucking, I'd pop one can open. I'd be done. I'd be like, oh, I'm sick of this shit. I fucking died for a couple minutes. Nothing is guaranteed. I'd pop open another can fucking eating those motherfuckers out the frame, Tony. I mean, one after the other. I Popping don't. cans of fucking those, eating Cheerios. I'm into circular foods now after... <laughs> wow. That yeah. is absolutely incredible. Donut? Do you have a donut? Oh, I love donuts, Tony. <laughs> you do? You eat them? Have you, you believe eat? me, bitch? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I can't stand donuts, bitch! <laughs> no, but I'm... Uh... I'm pre-diabetic. The guy at the place who was able to tell me I found out I was pre-diabetic, so I cannot the, eat donuts. The look of shock on this poor girl's face. 
She looked to her left and her right when you were so blatantly looking directly at her. Yeah, she's been throwing me off all fucking night. Right when I came out here, I couldn't put my finger on what the problem was, but I knew there was a problem right there. Oh, my goodness. This is incredible. She seems like she's a fan of yours, William. You're being ruthless. No, I don't think so. Right off the bat, right when I fucking... I was getting weird fucking... What's in your purse, bitch? I mean, why are you fucking oh holding it like this? I had skin cancer removed. She has a gun! <laughs> That would be kind of funny if that really was a good Wow. Amazing. The presence of the great William Montgomery. The, again, the sweater to the beard and hair. I mean, you are a stunning specimen tonight, I must say. I think that skin cancer did you pretty good. Thank you, and I think I'm going to have a really cool scar. I'll be able to have a battle scar after this. So excited about that. Things are looking up. I'm hopefully, I think I'll see y'all uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving should be nice. Yes, thank you. we're going to give thanks together indeed. Have some Advil liquid gels. And uh, <laughs> what type of, uh, are there any circular Thanksgiving Day foods that you're looking forward to having? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> that's a tough question. I, I, I tried to think of, <laughs> I, I already tried to think Thanksgiving of something. Thanksgiving uh, red Band says cranberry, cranberry jello, you know, like yeah, that little cranberry jello. Yeah, red band with it. There's red yeah. band with it. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, Cindy Crawford. Fucking idiot. Wow, he called you Cindy Crawford. He called you a supermodel. Thanks, dude. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Pumpkin pies, different kinds of pies. Uh, yeah, I'll just be doing all kinds of stuff. Maybe some sweet potato pie. Maybe some apple pie. Maybe so. Some... You like sweet potato pie, D? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. We found something that D loves. I love that. Yeah. Good to know. You know what? I'm going to bring you a sweet potato pie next week. Thank you. I'm gonna, I, got, I got 500 extra dollars that I didn't... <laughs> All because somebody brushed each other's teeth for so for a whole year. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's the same motion, same motion. Little little foam at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except one you spit at the end. <laughs> After all we've been through. William, uh, anything else going on in your life? No, I... What, Red Band? I don't know. I don't know How's why. How's the little doggy? amped up tonight. Yeah, he's been throwing the show off all night. I've been watching it. I've Red been Band wanted to know. We gave him an opportunity to talk about anything. Red Band wants to know about the little doggy. We are 10 minutes away from you two hanging out at a bar together, but... <laughs> I guess we'll ask right now, how's the little doggy? Little doggy's so, doing good, y'all. If y'all yeah. are wondering, Gator's wonderful. We've been kissing each other. We've been hugging each other. We've been giving each other butterfly kisses. Ooh. You know, it, yeah, on a small dog, do the math on that one, Tony. <laughs> wow. That sounds out the frame. <laughs> yeah. Did you make that up? I've never heard that before. I've been eating SpaghettiOs out the frame. Yes, I made that up it's on the fly. I think, honestly, getting the surgery, seeing the light earlier in the week, I think it has made me smarter. I think it has made me... I've been having these weird psychic abilities. I had this one uh, dream I had, very vivid, on Thanksgiving. Us three are together, and we're all having a really good time. And then just at one point, I swear to God, it was last night, this very vivid dream. We're all there, and Red Band just grabs his heart and he falls over. <laughs> wow. Uh, I swear to God, I didn't even want to bring that up. Wow. Ever since I was put under, I've been getting these very vivid dreams. They're all about you, Red Band. I mean, yeah. one is you falling down some stairs. That's and... crazy. I think you were having my... That's Those are my actual dreams. <laughs> I dream of that when I'm awake and not seeing a light at all. I dream of him one day grabbing in between those sweet oh, tits. Guys. My heart. No, it was a lot more dramatic, dude. I mean, you were dying <laughs> in these oh, fucking heart. dreams. No, you were Did he screaming. turn the color that he is right now? Yeah, am I green? Yeah, he looked oh. blue like a little bitch. <laughs> wow. Right, wow. So what else did you learn when seeing the afterlife? What else? I want to go to heaven. 
Um, I think where I went was heaven. I used to be a waiter in Applebee's. It was I was walking through this Applebee's with a tray filled with drinks and food, just wearing my gear, having fun, seeing different relatives at the different tables. And then somebody, I don't even know who it is, puts their leg out and I trip and fall with all of the drinks and that's where I kind of came to and I was hearing all the doctors screaming and crying about like who even is this guy why is he's getting skin cancer cut off of his face why have we put him under he's dying now it's just this very weird screaming and I'm just trying to let it float and uh, <laughs> um, but yeah I mean it was uh, so bad but yeah I've just been a bunch of dreams of red band dying again at Thanksgiving. There's one at Christmas where he actually gets shot by somebody when he's leaving uh, some venue. So, But yeah, but then happy ones. Me and Red Band's mom getting married. I've been having a lot of those. Um, I think maybe in April, dude, we're going to tie the knot. You didn't know this, Red Band, but your mom and I have been speaking. I was, I was feeling really bad about all the mom jokes, but we actually hit it off when we started talking and we're going to tell your ass in maybe April, but we're going to go forward with the relationship, Red Band. And I've been having dreams of the wedding day, and you officiate, and you look like a bitch, but you look pretty cool. <laughs> but you look pretty cool, and you get us, you marry us, Red Band. She so. would never date a ginger cancer fuck like you, man. She would never, <laughs> she would never marry a ginger cancer somebody. God, you sound like a monster. <laughs> They would oh. never get with me. Well, oh. we've already gotten together, bitch. What did you do with Red Band's mom? Describe Woo. to everybody. Describe Woo. to the people. Hold on. Woo. Let it happen. Yeah, I yelled hootie who right when I got in her fucking place, and then she just spreads those things wide open. Wait, what And I things? get out of cucumber. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, and then I put it in her pussy. Yeah, it makes a noise like that. And then what do you? And then what you do? Put it in her butt, dude. Oh, really? No, stop distracting him with buttons. Don't. Put a fucking cucumber in her butt. Oh, put fucking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> fucking lemon lime starburst in her pussy. You put a starburst in her pussy? Yeah. After I what suck flavor? on it. What flavor? What flavor? Ooh, uh, red. Uh, oh. cherry. Pink one, man. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> and then how does it end? How does sex with Red Band's mom end? I'm done with your ass, bitch! <laughs> I'm kidding, Red Band. <laughs> Wait, you're kidding? No, I ain't ever kidding about fucking your mom, Red Band. We did it again. Uh, William, anything you want to promote or plug or anything? You're one of the biggest people on yeah, Cameo middle, right uh, now. Yeah, please, I can help divorce people. I can help marry people. I can help get long-lost loves together. It's like a Craigslist, misconnections. I basically turned it like a Craigslist. Where the fuck are y'all going? Oh, they're sneaking out. But yeah, just middle, Rosemont, Chicago, in the middle of December. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes, the living legend. Guys, Greg Fitzsimmons, San Francisco. November 30th, December 1st, and 2nd. He's in Fort Worth, December 15th, 16th, and 17th. He's at the Den Theater in Chicago, the 13th of January. San Francisco, Fort Worth, Chicago. The website is... Fitzdog.com. Fitzdog.com. That's F-I-T-Z-D-O-G.com. One of my favorite comedians of all time. Make some noise for Greg Fitzsimmons, everybody. <laughs> Dave Smith on YouTube. 30 Minutes with Dave Smith. The new special is out. I do believe he is the future president of the United States of America. Make some noise for Dave Smith, everybody. A lot of common sense. If you're into politics and fucking humor, follow his shit. Very, very, very smart man. Um, a lot of fun stuff happening. Uh, the drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt is in. It is absolutely incredible. The drawing from Chris Rogers, local artist. Look at that, a new Cam Patterson. Oh shit. It's awesome. We might have to we might have to give that one to Mama tonight. How about a hand for M Mrs. Cam Patterson up in the balcony tonight? 
Thank you to Gel Blaster, Red Rose, Yellow Rose, NinjaBuses.com, Connect Mobile Health, Austin Security Guard Service, Hall Law Firm, Don Carlos Burritos. How about one more time for the best damn band in the land? Michael Gonzalez on the drums, Paul Diemer on the horns, Matt Muling on the electric, John Dees on the keys, and D Madness on the bass guitar. We did it again. Check out the Sunset Strip Comedy Club, sunsetstripatx.com. I love you guys. We love you. New York City, I'm with you December 1st. Two shows at the Town Hall. Uh, Florida, mid-December, Clearwater, and some other places. TonyHinchcliffe.com for very few tickets remaining for those shows. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Some exclusive Kill Tony merch for sale on your way out. Thank you. Go enjoy Austin, Texas. Ah!